Call the meeting of December 13th uh, for the Board of Appeals to order. Let's stand for the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I have the agenda here in front of me. Uh, there is no audience here tonight, but we are recording. Uh, I think everyone knows Mr. Cotton and Mr. Wood and Mr. Ingalls. I'm the chair. Uh, Pat and uh, Jacob were not able to attend, but we do have three, so we have a quorum. We have only two items on the agenda. One is to approve the minutes from our last meeting and to approve the finding of facts that was written by the lawyer and provided beforehand in draft form for our review. Um, has everyone had a chance to look at the minutes? The minutes, um, Terry did a very good job of the minutes. I like it the way it is. Uh, basically, we're just going over the motions we had and just a few bullets on what we talked about. It's a it's a video meeting, so anyone that wants to hear the context of what we discussed, it's on video, so there's no need for us to write it out word for word and uh, try to figure out if it's an act. Having said that, um, if there are no questions upon the minutes, uh, let's have a motion. I'd like to make a motion to accept the minutes from the last meeting. So Second. moved. Is there a second? Mr. Wood seconds. Uh, any further discussion? Not on the minutes. All those in favor? Motion carries. And I have the copy there. I will sign that after the meeting. The second item on the agenda is the finding of facts. Are they sheet the findings and conclusions from our meeting on when was the meeting? November something. 29. 29. 29. There you go. Thanks, Ashton. Uh, there was a couple things that I did want to just read. I was. Oh. Come on Sorry. in, Jacob. Sorry about that. Oh, don't you worry. Jacob, we're keeping it old school. Your microphone is not connected to anything. You have to speak up, and okay. Terry will carry with an eye from BCM. We'll edit things okay. later, but she needs to be able to hear you. Sounds good. Uh, what, the, what I did, especially if Mr. Al Jaraji Al Jaraji was here, um, wanted to bring to his attention. Uh, basically, that is, uh, if you go to page three, uh, second, third paragraph, I guess it said halfway down. However, we acknowledge that arguments relating to, to whether the homestead exemption provided in thirty MRS. 4401 were never raised or determined within the context of our July 13th decision and related proceedings. According, we find that Mr. G Mr. Al Girardi is free to make his argument with the CEO and is free, the CEO is free to consider it in further building permits. So basically, what we denied at our meeting was because there was not insufficient uh, information brought provided to us for us to make an accurate determination or we made the determination accurately on what information we had and when now that there's further information provided um, we're going to, we've stayed basically our decision and will allow him to present to the CEO whatever he wants to do in the future with his property and he's going to have to convince her and if it doesn't work out then it will come back to us potentially but right now you have the right and the option to look at anything. He has a right to bring it to you, and you will be, feel free to look at it without our decision infringing on your decision. Thank you. And 
I had it yellowed in on the back, but it's basically the same thing. However, we also hold it prior to the 13th decision does not preclude the CEO from considering in her review any subsequent building permit application. So we have not provided any findings on any of anything that he's going to present, even though during that meeting he did present some information that we heard, but it's up to him to present it back to the CEO and for her to decide if it's accurate. Mm -hmm. Having said that, are there any other questions on the findings that was presented to us? If there are no other... Excuse me. Uh, yes. Sir, uh, I was wondering if it's possible that... Um, can you, uh, just to read into the record, on page three, the last sentence of the decision, is that because Mr. Giraldi's application, is that what you're looking the, at? Nothing in this decision on page three at the bottom. All right. I mean, so, I get a guess. Based on the Fargo one findings, the one that starts with the... Yes. Basically. Oh, no, you're, you're page three. Yes. Same. Well, that's, that's, the, that's the draft. That's why. Wow. Let me pull it. Pull it. Accurate. Okay. So, you want the whole thing? Uh, just that last sentence is the critical sentence. Nothing in this decision shall be construed as an approval either of the subdivision of Pellegrinos, is that right? Yes. Lot in 207 or any subsequent divisions or reconfigurations of the three original lots into other lots. Thank you. We're just looking for clarification to have it on record for clarification. No, that I, you guys have untied my hands to review it, but that all the state staff would still need to do that. No, I think... Uh, I was debating whether we actually should read the whole thing, but I knew if I had to do that, no one would understand what I read. So, uh, but obviously, the findings are will be avail made available to anyone that wants to come see them. All they have to do is come to the town hall, and they can uh, get a copy, or they can read the copy that we they're have. They're also posted on. online. And they're posted yes. online. That's right. We talked about that. Great. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Uh, looking for a motion to approve the findings and conclusions from our meeting on November 29th. I'll make a motion to approve. I have a motion. I have a second. Mr. Wood seconds. All those in favor of approving the findings? Motion carries. So we're doing pretty well. I got two more things I just want to bring up for the record. Uh, I believe the, I found that the, found out that the, uh, Board of Selectmen will be reviewing my appointment to the Board of Appeals on Tuesday. Uh, I've decided to give it another round, so unless there's any objections, uh, that will be presented to the Board on Tuesday. Or I, was that another three-year term? Is that what we do here? So I wanted to mention that. And for the record, uh, inviting all of the members over to Corner Point, including the code officer and the planner, uh, for a little Christmas cheer to end this, the year. Uh, we have no, I want to make it clear that we have no minutes, no agenda that we're talking about, and I'll confirm it with uh, the planner. There is nothing outstanding that's out there for us to be talking about at the meeting. We have no agenda. I've confirmed that there's no agenda. So, uh, when we're there, it's clearly is a social occasion, and so anyone that wants to come over is more than welcome. And I can probably spring for a couple appetizers if anyone's okay. interested. What day is that? Today. Chairman? Oh, after today. after this meeting. Oh, and um, lastly, next meeting. Do we want to meet in January, or do we like to skip a month? The only thing we're going to have basically is approving the minutes, so we'll have to open up the meeting again. To the public to approve the minutes because we can't do it in a, in a workshop but if uh, we want we can skip a month it's up to everyone what do you guys think you want to come in january i would say we could skip a month unless there's something in the pipeline that you're sensing there is nothing um yes you should be on the there, there is nothing at all i've had no um occasion to which to even uh, 
and I guess this kind of speaks to what you were saying earlier as far as the agenda. I've not even had occasion to deny a building permit, so there's been nothing for anybody to appeal. Right. So what would happen is, obviously, if something did come up, then we would have to schedule one in, in accordance with the uh, uh, ordinance to the correct proper time frame to, to get it on the agenda. But uh, right now, there is nothing. So we want to go for the second Wednesday I'd in like February. I'd like to move that we, uh, our next board meeting of the appeals is going to be in February. Second Wednesday? Second Wednesday. At 5.30? Is that all yep. in favor 5.30? The calendar. 5.30? Right with me. All right. Retire. So we'll have our next minute meeting in February, uh, second Wednesday at 5.30. You guys realize that's Valentine's Day, right? Of course it is. It was last year, too, wasn't it? <laughs> no. Was it? I, I, if I it was close. Well, it's not within a day, probably. So somebody has to bring heart-shaped cookies. Okay. <laughs> I'll put that out to my wife. Actually, I should have brought you made fudge. So we should have brought fudge. Can I ask a question, please, yes. Mr. Chair? Um, yes. Are we planning on having 5.30 be our meeting time from from now, from this point forward, would you say? I'm okay, okay with that. Does that work for everybody? That works the earlier is better, I think. I think, I think okay. so. Let's do that. That, that way we get home earlier. Okay, great. All right. Then I would like to avoid the corrective emails. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So All thank right. you Here it is. February 14th. February 14th. And uh, I guess having no, unless, is there any other business? Does any, any of the other members have any business? Um, it's only, I believe, I'm due for a re, you know, we have yeah. time. Okay. Cross. Let me, let me check that real quick. All right. I've been asking you about that. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Oh, did you have an answer? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you no. plan on me we'll Stay with. Okay. Okay. So you can write me an email. And just so you need it to be written an email, verbal, not. Uh, I'd not prefer, a big deal. Yeah, because I give it to the email. town clerk and then she puts it on the. Process email. it. Yes. Gotcha. Exactly. Okay. Just well, a simple it, sentence. Either that, okay. or she could come up with a video and you could see it. <laughs> which, which, which exists now, but uh, <laughs> during yeah. the selectmen's meeting, you know, uh, she can play that. Right. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I'm ready. seeking a motion to adjourn. All motion to adjourn. We have a motion, a second. We have a second. All in favor? 